What's going on my fellow bass players Derek here from DerekBennett.com and as you see in the title today we're going to be talking about slapping the bass. <laughs> Welcome to the first part of the slapping technique course. So we're going to be starting off real slow as if you have no idea, no idea of how to slap or thump or pop or whatever you want to call it on the bass guitar. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right guys. So one thing that you need to know about this technique, you need to have control. You need to have control over this right hand right over the right hand because you have to zero in on that tiny string right and especially the strings in between them so say say for example the a string and the d string i think those are the toughest to hit all right so you really have to have control to be able to maneuver your hand the right way and zero in on whatever string you want to hit so that's that's the first thing and also another thing how you can think about it is um it's all it's, some people say it's all in the wrist that's, it's not technically the wrist, it's more so the forearm that's turning and rotating, right? It's more so the, it's more so the forearm, All right? So you know that symbol, when people do that thing, that's like a cow bung at that type of thing. <laughs> um, I don't know who says that anymore. But anyway, that kind of symbol, that, that sign, that's the same thing you want to think about, All right? I can think of another, a better analogy. Sue me. Anyway, <laughs> so this is the technique you want that rotating all right so your hand is stiff so like you're giving the thumbs up your hand is stiff so when i'm slapping this is the technique that i use i mean there's several techniques um several ways to do it but this is the way that i that i play it so when i'm playing I'm, i have my plucking position you know I'm, my plucking position is here so play close attention to, to my right hand more so not not this hand. all right so my plucking position is here pay attention to how my arm is here when i go to slap you see you see did you see the move right so i'm going i'm coming from here to here all right so now my i wouldn't say my my forearm is parallel with the floor it's not really it's not really parallel with the floor but it's kind of more at uh you know soft angle right not a not really a hard angle but up here real hard angle when i'm plucking this is my plucking hand right all right my plucking pan or plucking technique or position if you will so when i go from here to here that's something you want that's something that's very small but that's something you want to practice right from here to here boom here here and sometimes the, the reason why I say you want to practice that transition is because a lot of times in songs, you can be going from a, uh, um, a plucking position. Then you have to turn it into a slab. Then you have to turn it into a slap. So that, that transition right there is very important. So you want to practice that. So what I, <clears throat> so what I do, or, or what I would say to do is literally just go back and forth from a, a plucking position, from a picking position to a slapping position. People don't pay too much attention to this, but that's very important because it could be a split second to where you have to transition to a slap. And that has to be very clean, very smooth. So that's one thing that you would want to practice. But let's get into the snap to, into the slapping part. I know you guys really want to get into that. So, Hey guys, one last thing. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, you want to visit DerekBennett.com for full access to the full length lessons and also the huge library that we already have available on the site. Not only that, but you get some other pretty cool features as well, like a messaging system and an interactive forum. So we'll love to have you become a member of the Base Nation community. I'll put the link down in the description below. Until next time, see you.